Hey, what's up guys? Touch out for you here with another amazing tutorial. This one is particularly amazing because I'm going to be showing you guys an alternative to City that can actually compete with it. Now this alternative you probably already heard of is called Icy. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to get it, then how to use it. Now it has its perks. As you can see when you load up City, it has to reload and all that stuff. But with Icy, it doesn't do that. It's way faster and more efficient. And it could even be themed. So you're going to need to add a source to get this app. You're going to go ahead, go to your sources tab, press the edit button top right corner, and then the add button at the top left corner. You're going to type in apt.ripdev.com. It's going to look like this when you're finished. Don't worry, that'll be right Hold on. Here on the video. And also in the description. So don't worry about that. Once again, that's it. Then you're going to press add source right there. I'm not going to do that, however, because I already have it added. So I'm going to press cancel. Then I'm going to hit done. And scroll to the repository. As you can see, it's right there. I'm going to click into that repository. As you know, they have the letters on. As you can see, IC is right there from RipDev in the packaging section. I'll read the description since it's small. Faster, cleaner, skinnable alternative to Cydia installer. Localized to be to 17 language. That's absolutely amazing. So you're gonna go up right there. Go ahead and install that. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna do that. Then you're gonna let it respring and do whatever it has to do. Navigate to the page in which it is, it is installed on. Mine is right there. As you can see, so I'm going to go ahead and navigate into that. Let it open up. Now, as of now, I have the installer theme on my IC app. As you can see, it looks like installer. Very much like installer. That's another good thing about it has themes that's pretty amazing now I'm going to show you the other good aspects of it it is amazing when it comes to downloading and uninstalling apps so I'm gonna go ahead and try to find an app that I would actually want to download I'll just download swirly MMS 2 2. version 2.1.9 as you can see it has the title the version and a description of the product and how much memory it's going to take up then it has the author the maintainer which is the source and then you have these arrows that will lead you to more information as you can see right here if I press this arrow that's right there it'll bring me to a page that has more information about the app now it has more information and that's not it it has screenshots and download stats. This is, app is truly amazing when it comes to expanding beyond just an installer. So we're going to go ahead and I'm not going to download that one particularly because I believe that it's not going to allow me to. I'll just download this app right here for purposes of the video. iPhone Java version 1. Point something something something. I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it has the information just like the other ones. I'm going to go up in the top right corner. Hold on. And I'm going to press the install button. Let me just get a close up on that. There we go. So, I'm going to go ahead, press that install button, and watch what it does. It has a very cool interface. And it's very fast. Looks like I don't actually have that in my little um, list of apps, but somehow it's still there because I forgot to take it out. So let's go ahead and install a different app. If I can find the one that is actually worth installing. Let's just see if I can install this book. Or, hold on. 
I'll just install some random game. I'm going to install RPS version 1.0 or whatever you say it. Rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to go ahead and press the install button right there. Then it's going to take me into this really cool interface and it goes lightning fast, cleans everything up for you when it's finished. And then it makes a little noise when it's done. As you can see, it just reloaded extremely fast. There we go, that's how you install stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead to the installed package. And I'll even show the things that you installed from Cydia. So I'm going to go down, down. First, I'm going to show you, I'm going to exit IC and show you the app that I just installed. As you can see, RPS is right there. Rock, paper, scissors. Go ahead, open that up. Now I'm going to press the play button. I'm just going to give you a little demo to show you that it actually works. I'm going to pick it and I'm going to play. There we go. That's Rock, Paper, Scissors apps that I just downloaded from IC. Now you can add sources to this, however, I didn't add many at all. Actually, I didn't add any. But now I'm going to show you how to uninstall something from IC. I'm just going to go ahead as soon as it loads up. As you can see, it loaded up extremely fast, especially compared to Cydia. I'm going to go to the Install tab. Then, I'm going to scroll down to the R's. As you can see, there is RPS right there. Version 1.0.0. I'm going to click on that. And, I'm going to click Remove right there. Once again, you'll see how fast it is. Steps are different still as lightning fast and looks like that'll conclude my little tutorial and review on the IC app otherwise known as one of the greatest Cydia alternatives out today thanks for watching if you like this video just go ahead head on by my channel and subscribe if you really like this video go ahead bottom left corner rate five stars if you have any comments or anything about this video or questions just go ahead below and comment thanks for watching see you guys later